But first, never before seen video of Hillary Clinton inside the Walmart empire. She is probably one of the most investigative politicians in American history. And this morning, you know, you're going to see her in a way you've never seen her before, America, serving on the board of Walmart. Her. ABC News one Chief Investigative Correspondent Brian Ross is here with details on this. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Robin. Although she makes no mention of it in her official biography, Hillary Clinton served for six years on the board of Walmart, the huge retailer criticized by many for its treatment of workers and its strident opposition to unions. Just how strident can be seen in videotapes ABC News has obtained from the archives of a production company hired by Walmart to record its meetings. Now providing a rare clips inside the company and a very corporate Hillary Clinton. Walmart's opposition to unions was led for decades by labor lawyer John Tate, who after his retirement proudly recalled at this company meeting in 2004 what he said was his favorite phrase. Labor unions are nothing but blood-sucking parasites living off of the productive labor of people who work for a living. Hillary Clinton was not present at this Walmart meeting, but Tate was relied on for years to keep unions out at Walmart, including during the six years from 1986 to 92, when Clinton was on the Walmart board and Tate was either an executive or a member of the board himself. But nowhere on the tapes of the four stockholder meetings Clinton attended during that time did we find any indication she spoke up to defend the role of America's labor unions. And another board member says, nor did she do so in any of the 24 smaller board meetings held during her service. Clinton has since denounced Walmart policies, but at this 1990 stockholders meeting, she seemed to be very much the loyal company woman. You know, as a shareholder and director of our company, I'm always proud of Walmart and what we do and the way we do it better than anybody else. But 20 years later, critics say Walmart still lags in promoting women to top jobs. And the company is now defending itself in a discrimination lawsuit brought by one and a half million current and former female employees. I don't doubt the sincerity of her efforts, but we don't see a lot of evidence that, that conditions for women at Walmart changed much during the late 1980s or early 1990s. As the wife of the then governor of Arkansas, Clinton also took a role in supporting a Buy America program to create American jobs. One of the reasons we want to buy America is because we love America. But as I reported at the time for NBC News in 1992, Walmart continued to get most of its products from overseas during its Buy America program, including from this factory in Bangladesh that used 11 and 12 year old girls. Some of the foreign made clothing was later found to be sold under Made in America signs in Walmart stores. Made in Korea, made in China. All at a time that Hillary Clinton served on the Walmart board. Clinton now says she did not know about the foreign sweatshops of children or how the Made in the USA campaign was being run. And as a candidate for president, Clinton, endorsed by more than a dozen unions, has sought to distance herself from Walmart saying she no longer agrees with its principles and values and now believes that Walmart workers should be able to unionize Rob. We'll see if it comes up again in tonight's debate. It may well. It's a major issue. All right, Brian.